This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a new YouTube video. Today we are in LA right now. We're sitting on the tailgate of my Land Cruiser. We are heading to Santa Barbara, California. We have the Mamiya 7.2. We have the Leica M6. We're gonna be shooting with both of those today in tandem. We're gonna be shooting some landscape photos, some lifestyle photos, some photos of my truck. Just kind of whatever we get our hands on. We're gonna be driving the whole Highway 1 up to Santa Barbara. Should be pretty beautiful. I'm excited. Let's hit the road. Make sure to go to Prospect Coffee, my favorite coffee shop along the Highway 101. Now, Santa Barbara. So we made it up here to Santa Barbara. We just got off of my favorite highway, which is Highway 154, San Marcos Pass. As you can see from the photos and videos, it's beautiful up here. Uh, we've been shooting with the Leica M6 and Portrait 800. Um, I just had 800 in here from the last one that I was shooting and I didn't finish it yet. So we're finishing this roll off and then we're probably gonna switch over to the Mamiya and shoot some medium format stuff as well. But it looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunset, which I'm pretty excited about. The light is amazing. I've never really seen it like this up here before with all this cloud coverage. So let's go see what we can get into.
good does that look right now? Alright, so as you guys can tell from the photos and videos, the cloud coverage is incredible right now. We're kind of going in and out of the clouds right now as we're going driving down this mountain road. The lighting is amazing and there's just so many layers to work with, which I think for me is really fun and interesting. It's something new that, you know, I don't normally get to shoot. So all this nature is beautiful right now. The clouds just look so cool. Um, I'm using Portrait 400 and the Mamiya 7.2 right now. That's what all the have been on this camera. We're pretty much going to stick with that until the light kind of goes down a little bit more and then we'll probably switch to like an 800 or something like that. But Wow, it's so beautiful out right now. I'm so stoked. Yeah, so I think it's a tiny bit too foggy right here, but I think we're gonna go a little ways down there because the light's like beaming on those rocks down there. And basically where the light's hitting is where we want to be because the light's then going to be hitting us and we can kind of mess around with it, manipulate it the way we want. So we're gonna head down that way a little bit more, I think. Beautiful though. So now we switched to Portrait 800 and the Mamiya 7.2. Uh, we shot with 400 for a while, which Portrait 400, as you guys know, probably is my favorite film just because it's so versatile. Uh, but now we're switching over to 800 because it is getting darker. For now, I just want to be ready when the sun does go down because I want to be able to shoot some dusk stuff. Um, but the cool thing is, is I can rate this 800 film at 400 and get a little bit, get a little bit more details in the shadows, which is nice for now. And then when it gets darker, I can just switch it over to rate it at 800 so I can get those nice dusk shots when the sun does go down. But Really excited how these shots are turning out. It's beautiful up here. Let's keep going. So we're taking a few photos of the car right now. One thing I want to note is that to get lower than your subject is super important. For me, it's getting lower. For some of you, it may be getting higher above. I am a giant, so I always try to get a little bit lower to the ground than I normally would. For example, this, I'm just even walking back down just a few steps and it's giving me a perspective that I wouldn't normally have. Especially when shooting automobiles, I think this looks really good. So we're gonna take some photos of the truck now. So sometimes you just get to a location and you just kinda of say, wow, I mean, Sometimes you don't even know how to capture it, you just kind of look and are in awe. You know, I, I get a lot of questions how I stay inspired, and I've answered this in a couple other videos, but the main thing that I do is I come out and shoot for fun. You know, we're out here on our own dime, pay for all the gas, the food, the coffee, and you know what? We get to come out here, have fun, see beautiful views, listen to like the birds chirp, not LA for, you know, just for a couple hours, and this is how you have fun and stay inspired, so. Just remember that as you guys are going, you know, you're wondering how to stay inspired, you're wondering how do I get outdoors. It literally just takes something as simple as spending $10 in gas to go out there and see the beautiful world, you know. I realize I live in California, but honestly, I feel like I'm a big believer in there are beautiful places anywhere. Just you have to find them. Oh my God. Right, now I'm gonna shoot.
Thanks again to our sponsor, which is Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. If you are looking to create a custom website from scratch without all the coding and hassles that come with it, Squarespace is by far the best option out there to make a beautiful website. They have easy to use templates which make creating a beautiful theme that much easier, 24 seven customer support for all of your questions and tons of customizable options to really make your website stand out. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel Elkins to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.